Hi everybody, I'm Clarence Reynolds. Here at Mobile World Congress, one of the largest ICT events in Europe, there are over 100,000 attendees from more than 200 countries. MWC has had an epic evolution from being a mobile phone event to a full digital transformation experience. New business models are at the core of successful strategies in today's industries, and the Fujitsu experience is centered around digital co-creation, including the latest global digital solutions, platforms, and services, and how artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and hyperconnectivity bring new value for business and society. With me is Rod Nathan. He is CTO of Fujitsu Network Communications. Rod, tell me about Fujitsu's 5G network vision. Sure, as you mentioned, core to our belief is that new business models are really going to be important to industry in the future. And so, the, most of those new business models are going to be enabled by hyperconnectivity of businesses with multiple sources of data. That hyperconnectivity is the key role of the 5G network. 5G, in our vision, is to provide a secure exchange of information across communities of industry that is enabled by an ecosystem of open software that controls the network resources that enable those new digital services. What value does Fujitsu bring to the 5G ecosystem? Actually, Fujitsu has got a very aggressive approach to the 5G ecosystem. We are looking towards being very open in this because we realize that customers want to work with people that can provide the end-to-end -end solutions for 5G. So, not just the wireless piece, but the wireline piece and the software that brings those two together, which is going to be really critical to providing the digital services of the future that the 5G infrastructure can enable. Rod, networks are going to need greater flexibility in the future. What characteristics are important? At the core of any 5G network will be a very scalable, flexible optical transport capability. And not only do we need to be able to scale and, and be adaptable and flexible in that, we need to be able to connect it through intelligent software to the, to the needs of that RAN and the needs of the service that is running across both the wireless RAN as well as the wireline optical network. And that's one of the key issues that we're looking to address with our Virtura software and our Onefinity optical systems. So why is co-creation so important to Fujitsu? So digital co-creation is a way to find relevance for us and our customers in this transition towards the digital future. And our model of digital co-creation is to sit with our customers in a number of design centers and help them think through the process of design thinking around the particular problem that they have. And then designing ideation solutions to those problems and helping filter down to a process that gets them through that transformation. How has Fujitsu prepared for the revolution in machine learning technology? Today, the world faces many social problems, natural disasters, food, healthcare, transformation, and so on. To solve these problems, we have to improve the performance of computing and network processing. Fujitsu has developed the digital annual and explainable AI as key technologies Explainable AI means using deep tensor and new machine learning technologies and knowledge graph providing tens of millions of chemical and medical data points to reduce AI insight and also explain the logic behind them. Using these technologies, our goal is to discover answers to understanding social issues around the world by providing this ultra-fast, secure, and complex decision-making capability. Rod, how would you sum up Fujitsu's digital future? Let me uh, sum it up where I started. The future of digital is going to be about enabling new business models. Our co-creation strategy with customers is all about creating new digital business models for our customers. We're uniquely positioned as a company that can provide the 5G RAN network, the very scalable optical transport network, so the end-to-end -end technologies from the network perspective, as well as the software and an open ecosystem that controls that. 
And then on top of that, all of this infrastructure is really just a hyper-connected enabler for the digital services that the, our customers want to be able to create with those new business models. And that's where our, our cloud platform comes in, our AI platforms come in, our machine learning and big data analysis comes in. And Fujitsu has all of those capabilities from the K5 cloud, providing infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and the cloud platform and digital services on top of that cloud platform that are key to helping the customers with that transformation.